Hey yo, welcome back. It is time to gourd the quest. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day today. Uh, we're hopping back into the campaign mode. Uh, hopefully trying to catch back up to where we left off. We got Kudo, Pierre, and Lucius right now. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the end. Oh. Uh, hello, hello, June. Jun? I guess Jun is probably the correct one for that. Barnaby, hello. Never gonna say your name yes. correctly at this point. It's a it's a intentional thing. Um, let's check out the map. Let's start doing some quests for these nerds. Get some items. Oh, sick. I'll take your shitty belt. Uh, I will attempt to tail these people. Lu Lucius has a pretty high odd of, odds of success here without a skill, so let's just uh, pop, lock, and drop it here. Easy peasy. Oh, we all have to do his shit. Okay. Uh, I didn't realize we were all doing it. Oh, God. Well. Good. Okay, odds of success. Never mind. Okay. What's the penalty for failing the challenge here, you think? Let's roll it. We'll be fine. Reroll. Take two. He's got it this time for real. See? Easy. Though I didn't need the skills. So we just took a lot of exhaustion for no reason, basically. And you have Shocking Touch, which should be our best spell. Put in there. Okay. I don't mind getting... Oh, we need to re re restock on supplies, too. Damn. You trigger an encounter. Yada yada. It's supposed to be easier, I think. Because he did all that bullshit. Oh. Hooray. You got some traps. Uh, what are you doing? You're attacking for nine. You are trapping a cell. Probably just parry... Dodge and stab. You can bloodlet yourself real quick. <coughs> oh, sorry. The exhaustions are getting to me here. Uh. I'll try to pick you off if we can. Nice. Okay. Play a mana charge too, why not, right? Okay, our cool our cool trap is triggered. This is like a bard, he's giving everyone plus four crit. Uh, let's draw a card. Draw a card 9 damage versus 12. Let's take him out. There we go. Uh, not a whole lot going for us here. I think we pitchfork first. And we bloodlet ourselves, trigger power from blood. I think worked, and then we do the hail. I think you died of the frost, probably. We're close to it. You definitely died of the frost. So let's just boom. E easy game. Good work, team. Get 38 gold. Let's go back. Oh, we already leveled up again, too. Damn. Mm-hmm. I feel like these characters... I think, they, I, think, I think the sound might be louder. I think ever since the reset... I think like the in-game audio is a bit louder than it used to be. Although I could just be completely wrong about that. Who knows, right? Uh, Let's go here. I'm liking... I was going to say I like Bloodshot, but apparently my, my character is not a high enough level, which kind of sucks. 
Uh, you ever gain two fury? On uh, fury. Yeah, it's always fixed. Uh, three, three more damage and two more bleed. That's pretty cool on the arcane spike. Pitchfork gets boosted. I think. I think because this one like is a repeatable effect, I wanted to upgrade it first. We do get our next skill grid now as well. And just to double check, I think we want to do the blood. Although someone re recently left in a comment that they were a big fan of Malediction. Uh, Warlock, which leads me to believe that maybe... Maybe we're going to play this as like a, a strength dex hybrid character. I kind of like that. Yeah, I think that might work for us. Right, let's hold because like, this character kind of does like a little bit of bleeding and a little bit of uh, poisoning, which is cool. A little bit, a little bit of everything, basically. I don't know. For now, though, I think I'm going to stick with blood magic because I think blood magic just has more bleed effects, and we know we're going to go bleed. And we're obviously going to go strength because we have a ton of strength. Here. I didn't even look at your rares though. Hold on a second. Blood Lance, passive. Gain a Blood Lance after applying two bleed stacks. You can store up to three lances. Re lance releases on the next attack, dealing 32 damage each. So if you can, like, uh, like Blood Let several times in turn, you can then pop this Blood Lance for a, for a, for a big hit. That's interesting. Hmm. It's like a piercing effect. Frost beam is not for us. We're, these are both not for us because we're not really going for the frost or lightning themed or a burn theme. There's only there's only two rares in this pool that we like, but Bloodland seems like it's what we want. Um. Yeah, down with that. Okay. Let's start. Random enemy with bleed takes 15 damage. Immutable. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, I won't bleed yourself and an ally. Oh, kind of cool as well, right? If you're, like, if you're playing like Blood Lance, this gets double triggers for this. Okay. And this gets rid of bleeds and stuff too. Okay. Oh, here's like a reason to actually do this bleed stuff too. I just, I just looked at this for the first time. Uh, all allies with bleed get 32 crit. That's pretty wild. Uh... Okay. Let, let, let's take let's take from this one first. We, we may have to consider going a little bit into Malediction as well. Let, let, let's look at the rares for Malediction as well, actually. Let's see what we got here. Blood Spikes, Purge, all debuffs. Oh, I did look at these. I didn't like any of those, actually. What about in here? Anything cool in the rares here? It's all totems? What the hell? Weird. Oh, there's not all. There's these, there's these two as, as well. Hold on. Destroy a strength. That, uh, this one. Okay. More totem shit. Okay. Oh, so the totem probably has like HP and can be killed and stuff like that. Okay. And then if you blood read the totem, you just put that bonus like permanently. Okay. Interesting. Apply 10 vulnerability to all enemies for every bleed. Apply plus one vulnerable for every every time blood pool is triggered. I know about the blood pool thing. The blood pool thing is just weird and I don't like it. Because I don't like the cell mechanics very much. The enemies seem to move every turn. Does not seem very worthwhile. We're going to take this. Put this right here. Bingo, bango. Go over to my man Pierre. Same idea. I do like... Ice Nova, but again, apparently need to be a higher level for that. We're gonna go Magic Missile. I want to I want to play this man as a Magic Missile build because that seems like it'd be really fun. We know we're in Conjuration here. Not a not a good layout for us. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Is right connected to the the thing? Yeah, let's do that. Get the plus two, boom, boom. Yeah, that looks that looks solid. And then you, 
you're you're temporary, Lucius. I'm pretty sure because I do want to go, Druid. But I think I think what we'll end up doing is we'll have we'll have Gudo be a, a strength dex hybrid. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's what my heart is telling me to do. Um, Keen Strike's a pretty solid move. I think you upgrade that here. Which one of these? Hold on. Which one of you is the Dexterity Swordsman? It looks like it's kind of this one, but it also dips into strength as well. Blade Flurry deals frost damage. Oh, this gets a bonus for every attack card in your hand, too. That's kind of interesting. Warrior. Definitely a little, little bit more strength focused here. Phantom Edge. Do three hits to random targets. Nine damage per hit. Deal an extra hit for every five dexterity. We are dex focused, right? That's like it. So I think we want to go probably... Probably Swordsman for the first tree here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, we got more missions to do, but we wanted to come here. Real quick, sleep, and I want to get my my fate back as well. I'm all out of fate right now. We go. Boom. Come on. Come on. Please. There we go. Okay, good. Want us to have full fate. Let's do a little event over here, and then we'll go to this move there. Oh, I forgot about supplies. Whatever. Do this. Buy supplies. There you go. Descend into a dungeon. Got some dogs. Okay. Game. I feel like it's taking a little bit longer to load than it was previously. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting anyway. Um, I'll do some keen striking here. Do a little quick draw. You are attacking me. You guys are blocking. After the thorns hit, this man dies. So we're all good here. Let's just, you know... Put damage down on the dogs now. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. A little energizing. As as expected, he dies to the thorns. I guess I draw first, see what we get. Attacking for seven, I think we just lunge you into lunge. There you go. And the turn there. Spike into bloodshot, huge damage. Good arcane hail, but let, let, what's the Pierre? Cast magic missile into the darkness. Should do explorations. They are tedious. They oftentimes don't give you much, but they are important to do, I think, just to gain funds. Or, oh, what the heck? Salamander Eye. Okay. We can't get to this end of the stairs, so we're going to do the stairs and hopefully avoid the, uh, the monster. There we go. More stairs. That's cool. And we have Kudo here. Kudo reveals a bonus rune chest. I'm down to hit both of these here. Get some more info about what's on the map. Okay. Hopefully the merchant comes this way towards us. Void rune. I think like the least valuable rune in the game. Please come this way, merchant. Okay, fuck you. I'll be honest. I do like going down, but I think I prefer just trying to chase the... The merchant down here. I think the merchant's more valuable to us, especially because we have the uh, fate. 
Although he doesn't actually sell anything for fate, so maybe I'm dumb, but I'll take I'll take this. This is fine. Max out. We'll gamble later. Okay. All in all, pretty good adventure, I'd say. Instead of three dogs, it's, a, it's two bats and a dog this time. I think the bats would be easier to fight. I was going to say, what the fuck did I take damage from? Then I realized it was the encounter that we just did. A lot of enfeebling happening here. I'm going to break these boxes, because maybe they have money. It had something in it. Move you up front, bud. Kill you. Try to kill you. If I'm being honest, I don't like thorns that much. The fact that the thorns doesn't last the entire turn, it just lasts for the first hit. Obviously good for me when I'm fighting enemies who have thorns, right? No, no shit. But it just doesn't seem correct. Right, am I crazy in that? I don't know. I'm just gonna move here and bloodshot the shit out of this guy. Also, what I'm confused about when it comes to bleed is, is bleed actually doing damage to me at the end of turns? Whenever I have bleed and I hover over my health bar or whatever, or not even hover over it, but when I look at my health bar, it's like a little bit of it that's kind of missing. As if I'm about to take, but I think it maybe it's just trying to indicate how much damage you're gonna take when you uh, get hit. Not certain though. We don't need fate. Uh, I will take items, please. Grants mana charge. I don't need mana charge. So I'm gonna grab this. I put it on for the int. I already have two mana charges. Hit it with the void rune. Enough is enough. Okay. Um. Three bones. No problem. We're full clearing this shit. Who are you hitting? You're hitting Lucius. Lucius, okay. But you see how he's like missing a little bit of health? I don't think you actually lose it though. Put you there. I have no other moves. I'm going to keen strike. Wipe that man out. Block up big time. And then just chill. It was, what's interesting is that magic missile is actually dealing physical damage. So it does work with the bleed too in regards to like actually triggering the damage. That's a nice thing to, to remember about it. Okay. Looks like we got this pretty much wrapped up here. Yeah, let's just boom. We could shift and then and then bloodshot, but I think we can shift or not just move normally and then yeah, spike him. And he's he's pretty dead. There you go. Not getting much experience from this dungeon though. Been noticing the enemies kind of you know. Ain't giving a shit, which just makes sense because we are, you know, very strong, I suppose. Last time we did this, we had to check all this shit. Oh, we got a little, little potion flask here or something. Additional items found. Challenge cleared. Hell yeah. Nice. Got some HP. Cartography room. Uh, last time I think I called out to him, so this time let's advance towards him. Let's try to sneak up on the... On the uh, the, the Rift Lord, whatever his name is. Cross the runes to stop him. Pretty sure I did this last time, too. Sure, like, why not? I suppose is the thing. Um, we can put a skill in, too. I'll give you one exhaust, bud. You motherfucker. Okay, you know what? Let him take the damage. He deserves it. 
at that point, like, I ain't spending the fate on that. I'll just kill the zombies normally. It's fine. It's cool. It's not even, like, a big deal or anything is, is the real thing. Uh... You're hitting pretty big mode here, huh, guys? Do a little blocking and do a little arcane hail here. Gareth's taking his sweet time to go. He just doesn't have much to actually use. Luckily, he can quick barrier the shit out of these people. Uh, we'll do a little of that. I guess we'll mana charge. Why not, right? So Lucius takes one damage. This is trying to line up Pierre here. He's gonna send a move though. Should be pretty pretty simple to deal with. Block once, cut twice. You can do a little bloodletting into blood surge here. Something like that, and then hit... You block a lot of the damage, but you're also the big guy, so let's do that. Oh, Pierre Pierre isn't going before him. Shit. Damn. Freaking ghoul. At that point, might as well just kill you then, huh? You die... You die to the frost, I'm pretty sure, there. Skeletons are going to D up there. Or this one's going to D up, I suppose. Uh, let's kill you. Kudo definitely kill this guy next turn? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And we can just uh, slash and just do this and then look at our cards in hand. Boom. I thought range attacks didn't get thorned. Maybe maybe that's a spell so it doesn't count as a range attack? I don't know. Weird. Get another exploration before we leave. Pierre is just chilling over there. A little of this. Boom. Perfect. Nothing found. Bullshit. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on. That is better than one of my, my my current staffs here, but not by a huge amount. But, you know, better. What is that component lockbox? Sorry, Pierre. Got more important shit to handle. Uh, Let's go... Can I get both of these? No, okay. Well, then we'll do this. We'll do the Gilded Coffer. Take that. Ooh, okay, we get another stairwell. Lucius, I think, kills enemies, right? Yeah. A little jewelry box. A little pile of bones and into the stairs again. Okay. That's going to go on uh, Kudo for sure, because he's our strength dex hybrid character. Is that Bertram? Bertram, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Wasn't expecting that much, but whatever. Can we reach Bertram? No, okay. We'll just do this then and kill, kill uh, Pierre, probably. Or come close to it. Okay, that's a lot of money. Fountain would be cool if we could reach it, but too bad. We're going to teleport the hell out of here. Go back to town and take a nap. Our, our guys are freaking beat right now. They they are tired. 
15 HP is not even a full heal for ha like most of our characters here. Only one who actually has full heal is Kudo. I think we hit the stately room for the day. Can you imagine having 15 exhaustions in your deck though? What the fuck happens to do that, right? That's crazy. Ooh, Tome of Skill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I can I be honest? The character, my main guy here, Kudo, I think, is who I want to give this to. Because I'm worried about Kudo. I don't want him to fall behind. He's kind of weird. And the multi-class thing has me worried, so I think we're going to hit him with this just to make sure he doesn't fall behind the other characters. Hmm. Give you this belt. I guess you give you this. I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much. Sage hat. Well. Whatever. Might as well wear it. Okay, Kudo. Let's give you a tier one talent. I want to give you plus four dexterity at some point, but I also want to give you the plus an initiative. I don't think we need the initiative super desperately. Let's go dex first. Um, anything cool in the shops, by the way? Nothing super interesting. Nah. Ooh, 10% gold found here. I mean, the earlier you get something like that, the better it is, right? Entropy beads, no thank you. This is pretty good too. Plus two spell attack damage for a 30 gold ring. Yeah, let's get that. And let's get this too. I mean, I'm putting the spell attack ring on Pierre here because Pierre is purely attacking through spells. Some of your moves are like you're just hitting someone with a fork. So I think we do a little of that right there for now. And we're pretty close to... We we, we want to give you an amulet too at some point. We want to give you the curio uh, attunement skill thing. Like, I'll put this I'll put this amulet on Pierre if it means we can get curio attunement. Whatever the... I think that's what the perk is called. I forget though. Good outcome or bad outcome or... Head through the tombstones. Let's do the tombstones. We have a pretty high odds of Pierre hitting this challenge. I mean, we have to just not roll a one. That's it. Please no one. <laughs> okay. Easy peasy. Uh, I'll trigger an encounter. I'm not a coward. Right? I'll do it. I'll fight the Horde of the Undead. Only three zombies. It's not even that big of a deal. But we didn't get many defense cards, so I'm a little bit worried. But they're only hitting for six damage. Okay, yeah. It should be fine. Uh, let's keen strike you. A little of this. A little unguarding. And you have no defense. You have some defense. So we will move you, Lucian, Lucius, in front of Pierre here to take the hit. I think you just actually kill this man. Yeah, there you go. Great work. We shock and grasp in the magic missile. Okay, case closed, everyone. A node on the map has been modified. How so? Party blessed with four might. Okay, that's not that interesting to me. Let's get Barnaby's tools. You've arrived at Barnaby's shop. We fight uh, some nerds. You're cleaving. That's that's cute. We kill you. We lunge here. Take both the hits. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, Kudo here can kill one of you. Or maybe, okay, actually, he can probably kill both of you, it looks like. The sick. Very cool. 
And I will mana charge first. Break that. Okay. What's your move? You entangling someone? Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. You're debuffing. You're pulling me to the front row. How about... What about if you went to fucking hell instead? Have you considered that? I think this is a better play. A little capture net. Hit him with the shocking touch. He's moving away. I have once again been rooted and zooted. Dodge first, stab a few times. And then boom, bloodshot. We got a lot of shit from this one, okay. We get to choose a ring, a quiver, or a helmet. I go ring. There you go. You know what? Kudo could probably also use Curio Attunement. It's an int skill, but it's good on everyone, so. Probably worth considering. I ain't using a skill. Hit me with that roll. Nat 5, baby. Easy. Give me the items. Give me Augur Orb. Sick. I remember that that... I remember that that is a good crafting item. Okay, Pierre, don't fuck this up. <laughs> Yo, this game hates me right now. What the heck? Like, whatever, it's working. Okay, well, those rings go right to this boy right here. Okay, you come across a musty storeroom. Pick the lock or kick the door. Apparently we have a higher chance of picking the lock. Let's do that, I guess. Um, success or... Let's just do it. We're going to win. Easy. Now that we've robbed Barnaby's store, I don't know. Just leave, I guess. Head back to town. Barnaby, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Alphonse is here. Hey, Alphonse. I do not have a spot on my team currently, Alphonse. But, if you do a lot of bleeds, maybe we want you. I don't know. I'm not certain yet. Um. Hmm. Guess we can do this first and then go to Alphonse afterwards. This seems fine. Seems like a good plan in general. We had to fight a couple dogs. I do think it's a little weird how like enemies are kind of mismatched for areas sometimes. Like we're supposed to be, I think, I think we're like in a bandit's lair, and there's like two werewolves and a dog here. A little, little strange. Not a big deal, but you know, just a little weird. That's all. Okay, let's try to kill this dog if we can. Oh, this dog is going down. Absolutely obliterated. You know, that box fucking deserved it, too. Uh, mana charge. Definitely hit him with the Ice Nova here. A little of that. And box explodes. Very cool. We're blocking up attacks. 
Passing the turn. I guess you're pretty close to already being dead. I think Pierre can take you out. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to focus mainly on you then. Come here. Then we go... Uh, you're dead. Let's let's start breaking the box back here. You bled me, which is fucked up. Okay. We can bloodletting here. A big arcane spike. I guess we just blood surge. You get to come here and you get to just shoot this man with ice and he does die on his turn. Okay. Very cool, very legal. Not too shabby. Well, Pierre gets a level up. Cool. Yeah, that's a ring for, I guess, you because you do strength. There you go, you get that. Cool. Uh, definitely go in here. Definitely making this guy the biggest brain on the planet. Okay. Now it's spiders and bats. You see what I'm saying, though, about like the enemies being a little uh, strange for the zones you're in sometimes? Not a huge deal. I don't actually care. It's a little weird, though. It is interesting that that Blood Surge does remove the bleed as well. You would think Recover HP equal to bleed would still leave the bleed there afterwards, but what do I know? I don't know. I don't make the rules. Hmm. Uh... A little quick drawing. You're very dead, okay. A little parrying. Even though we don't have the channel here, I think this is worth doing. Oh, we gotta be careful. We gotta move. Because when you pull me to the front row, we don't want to get hit by that bat. Although I could have just probably barriered. Eh, whatever. Frick you. Uh... Raw blood. Attacks leash 2 HP. Damn. Gotta be careful about that. Okay, his shot has been blood. He's on rough terrain, so it takes two uh, energy to move. Let's just do that now. Get him out of the way. Uh, excuse me, mouse. Mouse, hello. There's a little hair on the, the laser. Sorry about that. And the turn. Did I put blood on you at some point? I think I, oh, I, I blood let you instead of blood. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because I was like, the blood surge. Whatever. I'm losing my mind. Don't, you just ignore me. It's fine. It's a little late here right now for me. I'm being TBH with you. Uh, okay, we get a we get a blood magic two ability. I will draw it. Passive recover two HP for every two bleed you receive. Bleed zero. Okay, blood surge. Oh, so this is an intrinsic ability too. You get this turn one every time. That's kind of cool. Hemorrhage also pretty cool. I think I like hemorrhage more. That seems cool. 
I feel like it works really well with multiple copies too. Let's do this. Let's remove a skill from our deck. And by a skill, I mean a slash. Get two respect points for this guy. Okay. The bandit threat. Let's do it. Oh, this guy's a big boy. Hitting for 22, okay. You are just entirely in your own planet, yo. We're taking we're taking big hits here. Hold on. We got a shift. And we have to start picking up these these little baby boys. Okay, we quick draw. Very dodge. We're blocking a decent bit of it, but not as much as I'd like. We're taking some hits right now. We're gonna mana charge, kill you with frost, and see if we can kill you as well this turn. Okay. Not so bad. That's actually pretty manageable. Pretty good. Can I handle your next move? Probably. What's your next move? Uh, this doesn't seem to hurt me, I don't think. It bleeds me, right? But, like, whatever, not a big deal. I think I can just, like, pitchfork you out of the way, basically. And you now attack Lucius instead, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll just pass the turn. Start smacking you. Okay, pretty much no actual issues here so far. She may try to break these boxes too for extra value. Yo, this guy really wants uh, Kudo. He's really out for blood here on this one. But that can be just simply pushed to the side, it looks like. Did you counterattack me there or something? What was that? Maybe it was nothing, I don't know. Uh, we're just putting all this on Lucius right now. Did I kill you? He's just dead. Okay, cool. Take all of this. Mission complete. Do a little exploring first, real quick. Kudo reveals a rune chest. Where where is it at, Kudo? Okay. We go here. See what you reveal. Not much of interest, I would say. Do the rune chest see what we get out of it. Okay, we don't really use stealth at all. Random item or random boon. I mean, I want to leave this map afterwards, so let's just do that. Get some sick 14 gold. Let's get the hell out of here. And you know what? We're at the 44 minute mark here. I think that's a pretty... Oh, yeah, let's do this exploration here. We'll do one quick exploration, then we'll end the video. One... Oh, yo, treasure goblin? Hell yeah. Just nab that boy right off the bat. But grants more. You know what? Hold on. Apparently, it grants more gold the less markers we have remaining. Ah, let's just take it and go to the stairs. I think that's safer. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, good. You revealed a boss enemy. Whatever. Keep the supplies. Move on down. Hey, Kudo. Yo, we're going to get a big treasure chest off this Lingering Curse. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Okay. Big payout there. Hand wraps. Grant swipe. Plus two strength based challenges. Grant's quick step. Talent. Not not uh not not like a, a card. It grants a talent quick step. I think it's the one that gives plus ten to initiative, right? That seems crazy. That seems like a really good pair of shoes. Can you go away, please? Ah, oh, fuck you. Hold on. That's actually pretty sick. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, what, is, what does this do? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll end the video there now. Okay, for real. Although I do want to equip that, that vest before I forget it. Is there, like a, is, there should be like a thing where it's like, yeah, all equipment. There we go. Okay. Um. Put this on. Sure, you can have a swipe, I guess. Strange. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you. Something. There was something not. Oh, not for you. It was for you. Yes. Quick step. That's. I think that's the talent quick step, right? That's quick reaction. What's quick step do? Quick step. Once per turn, you can use your default move to move one cell at no cost. That seems really good, actually. Like, obviously, there's better things you can get, but that, that's just on a pair of shoes. I, I like that. Okay. Uh, video's over for real now. Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.